Hello everyone, this is KJB1000 and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to rotate certain objects. Uh, this is a very new feature since uh, there is a new update, 2.1. So if you were struggling a bit to figure out how to use this, then you've come to the right place. First of all, I'm just going to go through what all of these things mean. The target group is the object that will be rotating, and the center group is going to be the thing that it rotates around. Then we've got a times 360, which will mean it will rotate one whole circle around something, um, or around itself, uh, a certain amount of times. Or if you don't want it to go a full circle, you can change the degree. So for example, 180 degrees will be half a rotation. We have easing, which is similar to the move trigger, and of course the move time, which will change how much, how quickly it moves. Uh, then we have touch and spawn triggered, which you will probably already know because of the move triggers. So I'll go into how to make something rotate. First of all, I'm going to select all of the blocks I want to rotate and make a new group. So this is group one. But I also need something for it to rotate around. So I'm going to get this block here and make it group 2. Then I'm going to get my rotate trigger and I'm going to uncheck lock object rotation. Um, I'll, I'll say what this means in a minute. I don't think it actually matters for these blocks since these are solid objects that you can uh, crash into so these are not affected by the lock object uh, and you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to target group 1 and make it center around the group 2. So all of these objects will go around here. Then I can do times 360. So let's say I want it to go once and I'll make it go 2 seconds so it's not too fast. This will make them move the whole way around. As you can see they move once around and back into their position. Or I could make it move opposite direction by going minus one. So instead of going clockwise, it'll go anti-clockwise, like that. Um, of course, if you don't want to have something here, then you can always put a, an alpha trigger. I could just go t at the start to make it invisible, and now they look like they're just rotating around nothing. So that's an easy way to fix that. Um, what is a little bit different is these objects. Since these are not solid objects and you can pass through them, they can behave a little bit differently. So I'm going to add them to a new group 3, and I'm going to take another object like this, but it's going to be 4. So these are going to rotate around group 4. So I'm going to just edit this rotate trigger here. I want 3 to rotate around 4, I'm going to make it go a couple of times 360, and since uh, these objects are not, are not solid, they will uh, actually uh, properly rotate, as you can see these are affected by the rotating, and the other objects weren't. If you did want objects like this to stay stationary as they rotate, then that is what the lock does. The lock object rotation will allow these to stay in the same rotated position but still travel around the center. So something cool that I've figured out how to do with this is using these fireball objects. I can place it down here, add it to a new group, and then I'm going to take my rotate trigger. Um, I'll leave the, I'll leave it for now. I'm going to change the uh, settings on that. And what I'll do is I'll make the object, the uh, fireball, move up, um, so it kind of goes out the ground and then falls back down. Um, I would say make it uh, easing about. Maybe 0 0.6 I think is a good one, if you're on uh, the slow speed. And then we also want one to go minus. And um, 
I'm going to take my rotate, well, okay, first of all, I'll show you this. You can see this just makes it move up and down. It does look a bit strange since it just kind of stays in the same position as it goes up and down. So what I like to do is take a rotation trigger and make it rotate around itself. Then I am going to turn off the lock, put zero, uh, no, no, 180 degrees, meaning it will turn halfway around so it will fall back down like that. Then if I put this down here, we can see it working. It falls up. Sometimes you might have to save and play to see it work. As you can see, there you go. It turns around after um, it has gone all the way up. So it will go up, turn, and then fall back down in this new position. So that's just something I kind of started to play around with in the editor. Um, hopefully this is uh, clear enough for you to understand it and how it all works. Uh, if you have any questions then you can ask in the comments if you want. And if you want to see any more tutorials on the new triggers, uh, there's a lot of them, um, then I will explain it in another video. But for now, thanks for watching.